presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on growth. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials. Down 63, NASDAQ off 181, S&P's off 34. That being said, folks, but just you look at the NQs, these things are going to run right into the close. This is going to be really interesting watching this market shake out here. Gold, gold contract uh, down $15.50, trading at 1772 an ounce. You have silver uh, down 40 cents, $21.88 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 89 cents, $70.40 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note. Down six ticks, trading 130.21. The 30 year off seven at 162.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 235 ticks, trading out at 96.555. Euro is at 112. The yen is at 113.5. And, and the British pound's at 132 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. I'm going to bring the futures up first because they're buying this right now, folks. They jammed this thing all, all day. And the good old last hour, uh, bottom line is that they're buying into this market. So what do we have here? We had a low out here in the S&P of 45.96. Right now, you're 28 points above it. And we're still down 35. That being said, though, you can see this bar. That's why I was saying we we're coming into it. This is a small ABC up. So you get the B point out here of uh, 46.20. Your A point is, okay, so it's a 22A to B. So that is going to give you 34. 46.34 is, that's the confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And we're at 46.25 right now. So that's, that's in your, outside in your S&P. And I expect that like right now. These are straight line moves. Um, X, where are you? Come on. NQs, there we go. NQs, okay. So the NQs, they had a low today of 15,734. And right now you're at 15,908. And let's just see if this is going to be an ABC. It's an ABC up too. Okay, intraday. So you got, uh, let's see, 871 and 750. Eight, did I say 871? Yeah. That's nice. That's a buck twenty. Holy cow! One second. So that's going to get you uh, one twenty. That's eight thirty, nine thirty, nine fifty. Oh, that'll make sense. Fifteen thousand nine fifty is the A to B structure on the way up. Um, on the S and P, that's uh, we'll bring the S and P back up again. The S and P, I believe it was t it was ten points higher than where we are right now. That's how this is. It's uh, let's put this up. Well, it, now there's six points higher because we were, we were at 34 when I just did it. One second. There we go. Come on. Yeah, this is on the daily. This is on the daily. Yes. Yeah. So it took the B point out, took it out with volume. We got, uh, what, 20? Yeah, it's a 22.8 A to B, which gets you... 46.36. 22.32. One second. Let me get the right thing. 
22, 32, 36. Yeah, it's going to be 36. 46, 36. Um, that's where that baby should probably be shaken out. Um, some of the high volume equities. Let's go take a look at this. Well, actually, let's go look at Microsoft. This is pretty amazing, man. I mean, you know, it's funny. Microsoft is up so dramatically. Tommy was actually talking about this on his show, you know, on his show this morning. It's up so dramatically, but it's like down to 11 points right now. And it's like, it's not a big deal. But it is a big deal when you, when you take a look at the, uh, what it does to the indices. Okay, that's, that's, that's the reality. If we put this on, uh, I just put this on a three-year weekly, and you're going to see this has been a one-way move. Now, Microsoft has volume off the high, and we know that Nadella has been selling. Well, no, not has been selling. He sold one half of his whole position, okay? So, so if the CEO that has brought this company so much higher uh, is selling a pot well, one half of his position. You better take that into consideration. I'm just let me just see how long, how fast Linda Nadella's been here. Once, where are you, Nadella? Okay, one second. Board executives. Oh, that's. Oh, I see. He's only been the chairman for. That would. He's. I see. They. They. They're, they don't have him as the. He. He. He's been the CEO for a long time. Now he's. Now he's a chairman and CEO. That started only uh, six months ago. Pretty wild. Some of the higher volume equities out here, let's take a look at them. You have uh, AMC is up uh, 155. Oh, look at this. This is in the 24s now. Oh, this is, this is, oh, this is going to be dangerous for AMC. Let me look at this for a second. Oh, this AMC is just trying to save itself here. This, this just might get this $10 finally. Oh, it's on its way. Okay. Boy, it took a long now, Look at this, man. This took a long time to basically get. AMC's, my take is going to go back to $3.85. Could you imagine? I mean, could you imagine someone, you know, you have, you have the, the executives at AMC just have to be so elated. <laughs> They've been selling stocks like crazy. You know, the Reddit folks have been buying it. And unfortunately, once this, this actually broke down three weeks ago, we went from uh, 38 to 25. This is gonna. This is that was the building cause to get to that level. Once you're in the, uh, this has to get above now, twenty eight ninety one in order to get out of this lower range. Okay, so the probability gets much higher that you're gonna hit twelve dollars before you hit twenty eight. You know. So some of the other higher volume equities out here today. We have. Uh, let's see. You get Nvidia. Uh, that's flat. It's trading two eighty one though. That highs up in the three somewhere. Bank of America is up 69. Microsoft's a big one. Peloton's off a buck and a half. You got uh, American Airlines, that's down fractionally. You got Intel down 28 cents. Comcast is up a uh, dollar. The uh, Apple is uh, down 87 cents. Let's go take a look at Apple. It's been, Apple's been running higher every single day. Okay, gave it up finally. Okay, well, it didn't give it up, but. From yesterday to today, we went from 183 to 174. So these, these spreads are getting larger as they back down. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
the TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 65. We've got the Nasdaq uh, down 174. S&P's off 31. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every tra trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see newsletters right at the top. You hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for a year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And uh, bottom line, folks, if you do want to save even more money on any service that you get at TFNN, we have our Tiger Dollar Sale going on. There's only 10 days left in it. No, 11 days. We started it yesterday. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, it's a very good time to have a sale, isn't it? It is. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And actually, what's very interesting also is that there are some stocks, fabulous companies that have just been beaten down over the last uh, six to eight weeks. And um, there are stocks that look very overbought. So I, I think that this is a great time to be looking at how you can set up a portfolio getting started to go into January of 2022. And uh, we've raised some cash, and I think this is kind of what we're looking at right now. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the Fed because you're looking at the NASDAQ, and the NASDAQ saying hey, quite a bit of a struggle here. You're looking at the semiconductor in index. I went through that on my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour today, and I went through yesterday. There are a lot of these semiconductors that look like they've been fantastic leaders, and now they just need a breather. So I think this rotation is fascinating. And when you're talking about markets, usually you get the defense of, I don't mean Raytheon, I mean stocks like Coca-Cola and uh, General, General um, Mills. You, these are stocks that when markets are going down sharply, those, these are the stocks that people go into. Yes. But we've got, you know, we've been at close to record highs for the past number of weeks. And um, you've got the combination of, uh, General Mills going to almost all-time highs, um, and you've got you know some of the some of the indexes that were very close to highs. So this is a very unusual market, and I, I I've said to subscribers we've got to we can't be afraid. We've got to look at what's working, 
and go with that and you put in your stops if you're long or if you're short you put in your buy stop whatever it is and just let the market tell you i mean there are patterns that i follow all the time for instance there's this one that looks like where, where the price rises sharply and then it starts to come down and starts to make lower lower highs and lower lows then all of a sudden it finds a base and it really sharply and it breaks that trend line that was coming down and that's usually very positive well yeah i'm going to keep the chart up uh, this in the middle of the other group with a gray background but look here's the dow on the left this is the daily chart where did it stop it stopped right at a trend line at the look, there it is this is the pattern that we were looking at uh, straight line up and then you come down so it's very it's, for me it's very simple if the, if the dow regardless of what the fed says because the dow is holding up a little bit better than the others because it's got a different kind of a mix not everything there is involved with whether or not rates go up because uh, you have some uh, you have some health care you have you know you have a mix uh, insurance so at the same time i'm looking at this and i'm saying if the dow at any point in the next three four by, by early next week if it's got traded into the 36,000s that's a nice break to the upside and if if the dow closes under uh, 35,000 it's the 35,587 right now it says hey be ready for this arch formation and what's the arch formation here's another pattern that we look at all the time on this particular choice is a red line comes down and then it makes a rally and then it turns down usually to peak a or a peak b and that's the the h pattern or dreaded h pattern because if it takes out that left side low it can go much deeper it did exactly that look right there's the h pattern that broke down well now it's a much larger one so if we start to see the dow under 35,100, 35,000 means uh oh be careful because we could come all the way back to the 200 period moving average so i think for for my way of looking at the market the levels that i'm looking at are, are very clear and that's that makes it better than saying, oh, my God, what's the Fed going to do? It's how the market responds. And, and we can see in the QQQ, we we're talking about that just a moment ago. Where, where do I type that right there? So the QQQ, the index 100, failed at that arch formation right at that resistance line. There again, if the uh, the QQQ breaks under 378.90, the low of uh, a week or so ago, um, that's that's negative. It's going to be going much lower. And if it manages somehow or other to get to 401, it's trading at 388 right now. In the next week, it says it's overcome whatever the uh, Fed's decision is, and it's pushing higher. So I think the parameters and levels to watch are quite clear. What the Fed is going to do, we know that they're going to have to talk about raising rates. We know that they're in a difficult position because there are a lot of cross currents at this particular point. Is this the perfect time to actually be raising rates? Uh, it's going to be very interesting. And, and you know this very well in the housing sector. Look at this. The housing sector has done so well, even with the rates at the upper level, even though they're very low. Um, the Philadelphia Housing Index is just off its most recent high of 530. It's at 512. So I think um, as far as what the Fed does, um, we know that it's it's the speed with which they do it. I think that's the way we got to look at it. Yeah, it's going to it's going to be no doubt interesting because well you'll hear this tonight folks, okay? And this is pretty wild, man. On the European Union, now their their inflation right now is running as bad as ours, folks, and uh they came out uh, the uh, uh the the woman that's in charge of the European Central Bank. They're coming out and they're saying that, "Hey, man, Next year, it's only going to be two percent and two to three percent. The following year, it's like, really? It yeah, this happened about three hours ago, and it's like you got to be kidding me, man. I don't know what schools these got these folks went to, but it must be <laughs> the school of the blind leading but, the blind or something. Have, because maybe they have a different crystal ball than we do. <laughs> oh, man, I, I just you know, I mean, that seems to me like just a blatant, you know, how we're all in the probability business, but how how do you go from like six? to seven percent to two and less like in 12 months well, yeah I, we do I, know that has historically once rates start to rise and I, I don't mean just one quick rally but once they start to do that over different quarters it's really tough to get them back in the box the rates oh, you know, totally. once they start once you get this inflationary aspect um, it's very difficult to curb it so uh, in fact I was talking with someone earlier today they were talking about Volcker 
I, I mean, what Volcker did was very serious. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. we were talking about rates that were way up. You know, mortgages, some were 16, 17%. Yeah, I was time. paying 14 and a half. So I bought yeah, my first house in 1971. It was 14 and a half percent, right? I mean, and now you're talking about something completely different. So the, the, in the end, we will know because as far as I'm concerned, price dictates the, the trend. And I'm just saying, look, we're looking at the TLT right now. It's at 150. A break into the 153s says, uh-oh, rates are, yes, rates are definitely coming down. and They're coming down sharp. But if there's a sudden plunge, in the TLT. Well, you just bring up a great point. So so what happens there, folks, is this. I mean, this TLT, you know, is rejecting a lower price out there. And and what we have, and now this is what's different. We have worldwide, they're buying our bonds. So, you know, we all yes. keep looking at the United States, but guess what? This is a worldwide phenomenon, folks, for U.S. bonds. Yeah, pretty wild. That's right. Have a great one. Have a safe one, Basil. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading uh, down uh, 48. NASDAQ is off 140. S&P is down 27. And, uh, and that ABC structure. So you, only get, you get five more points on the S&P. Because the projection is 4646, and on the NQs, 957. So where is 957? Yeah, you get another 20 points on the NASDAQ. We'll see how this shakes out. Now, that's a one-to-one -one structure. So, you know, bottom line is that this is, <laughs> this is deviant, no doubt, but that's where it looks like it wants to go. Let's go take a look at Walmart and see if Walmart is peeking its head up here. 
So you get Walmart, the low for the year is 126, the high is 152, you're trading 144. They pay a 1.5% dividend. The next time they come up with their numbers is going to be on February 17th or 14th. I got to look, oh, this is nice. Yes, this is nice. I see. Yeah, this is the classic, man. I mean, if you want to see a classic, yeah, watch this. I put this on um, weekly, you know, and this is, you see what's cool about this too, folks, okay? When, I, when I'm speaking, it's a classic. It's a classic. Go to the bottom of the consolidation, reject lower price, start going topside again. Um, that's what it looks like here. So the last 134. Look at this. This is cool to understand. Watch this. This is crazy. So the swing low that I was going after is 134.70 inside of Walmart. Well, we got down to 135.24. And when you do that, and you know, then yesterday you had you went higher with volume. Today, you're getting wide price spread. You don't have much volume, but you're still getting the wide price spread. That's telling me that before it hit the, the swing point, you had the buyer. And it's probably the same buyer that was down at the bottom of these swing points. Yeah, Walmart might take, you're going to go back to the highs again, which is that 153 area. Uh, Vista Gold, let's take a look at Vista. Uh, one of the targets just told me this thing went down to 59 cents today. Yep, went down to 59, came back, 63. Let's go see who this broker deal it took to the cleaners. Because it, it, the, it's uh, the, the person that, uh, it's the firm that trades this. They know just how to, if you're not used to this equity, folks, the bottom line, if you try to sell, if you try to, if you call a broker and try to sell someone, you just don't understand how to sell in general when you're buying a lot of shares, this stock gets smoked. So l let's talk about this for a second, because I know I'm sure plenty of Tigers you know, it's a 63 cent stock. Even when it's a buck, you might have buy five, ten thousand at a time. What happens is this: is that when this stock's going higher, that's when you get to sell into it. When it's going lower, you can't come in here and try to bang out. You know, even five thousand not bad. You can't bang out ten thousand shares. You just can't do it. Uh, and what you don't want to do, this is this is something that for a heads up also. What you definitely don't want to do is that. On these brokerage systems, right, folks? What you want to do is that if you're going to sell 10,000, sell 5,000, 4,000, 1,000. Don't put 10,000 out there because this is the way this works. Technically, if you put 10,000 out there, what's going to happen? Everyone's going to see it, and you, it's a, you go in a different bin. That's what ends up happening. So it's crucial that you don't do that because it just gives them more time to basically screw with that auto more, you know? But, so that you, you want to understand that, trust me, because you'll see trades going by and you're sitting there. So we're, we're coming into the, uh, the ABC structure, the one-to-one, -one, and then we'll see kind of uh, just how strong this uh, baby is coming into the close. The, uh, if we go to, let's go take a look at uh, King Dog Amazon out here. So Amazon, and it's been in a consolidation for a long time. I uh, went to 33.28 today, which was the swing low 30, look at that, man, right at it. Unbelievable. So it went under it by, no, we went under it by 10 bucks. You got a rejection of lower price, and right now we have half the volume. It was 4 million shares down there, 4, yeah, 4, 4 million, 36,000. Uh, what we had out here today is that you're at, uh, you went to 33.28, and you're at 33.84 right now. Oh, I'm sorry, let me do, I just, let me go back to Vista Gold. I didn't do much after that. Okay, so if we go back to Vista Gold again, we talk, look at Vista Gold. Um, you got a rejection of lower price, thank God. I mean, you know, that's what you have out here today. I, I've seen this before, meaning, you know, you, you move some product out and uh, it can break. It's not an ABC down because the B point would have 1.5 million. You only have 562,000 shares. So I'm not saying it doesn't hurt when, you know, two weeks ago the stock was at 86 cents and now you're at 63 cents. And then I was a, yeah, a buck, it was three months ago, I was at a buck 40. So, needless to say, as Dave White says, sell when you can, not when you have to, <laughs> because that's very applicable right there. There's no doubt about it. Let's go uh, inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. You know that Microsoft's going to be uh, right up there, a top dog on the weakness. So, strength is uh, Goldman Sachs. Putting positive 44 points, travel is 25, Amgen 16, taken away from it. Microsoft minus 64, 
Salesforce minus 63, Home Depot minus 17. So for the Dow only being down 14 bucks right now, that is some uh, positive um, force inside of the uh, Dow Industrials. There's no doubt about that. Look at this thing, man. <laughs> oh, you gotta love, you gotta love markets, folks. So inside the uh, NDX 100, the strength out here. DocuSign is up 4.5%. Uh, you got Ch Charter Communications up 2.6. T-Mobile is up 2.2. Taken away from it. Adobe down 6.4. Team, T-E-A-M down 4.5. You got Cadence Design off 4. And you got uh, Synopsis down 4. So let's go look at, look at Synopsis for a second. I really haven't seen that equity for a while. So Synopsis... Coming off its high, this ain't bad. Yeah, this is a consolidation. We had a lot of consolidations around here. That's, that's the real bottom line. I mean, in spades, too. So, oh, yeah, so let's look at this. So watch this, folks. Uh, when I was, we were closing the last commercial, uh, and there's, there's the ABC structures. They're, they're, they're hit. Uh, yeah, both of them are hit. So if you never understood how to do an ABC, folks, just go to Amazon, get my book, The Out of Time in the Trade. They're, they're both hit. 4646 was for the S&P. We're at 4647 right now. And for the NQs, it was 15,957 or 15,963 right now. So the way this works also, and this is important to understand, when an ABC finishes, even intraday, they normally do something different. And when I've seen them intraday, I use them all the time intraday day trading. I mean, because the bottom line, now, they're always not going to perform for you, but the probability is pretty good. And this is where it's really cool, is that you know what the price projection is. So you can basically know how close you're going to put your stop. In this particular case, this one today, it just went one way. You still could have did really well, actually, when they took out the B point and put the stop right underneath it. Uh, but they're, they're really cool to use intraday in a big way, folks. Between them, and I know all the Tigers and Tigers is in the den, they use the Fibonacci sequence a lot. And that's, that's where it's at because these, in faster markets, these numbers hit faster and faster and faster. And I don't know why, uh, but they do. And, and they're consistent. They're, they're really consistent. Silver, let's go take a look at that silver market out here. So silver still hasn't caught a bid. And if we take a look at silver, it's down 37 cents right now. Okay, so it come down to Friday's low. That's good. It actually rejected lower price. We needed that. We had a volume of 58. We only get 50 now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 68. We get the NASDAQ off 152. S&P's are off 29. So, yeah, we're going to check this out. This is pretty cool. One of the targets in the den just brought this up to me. And this is, this is you know, you know, we all have different tools, folks, okay? And you want to use the tools. And what's great about a Fibonacci sequence is that that is a basically a leading tool, meaning it doesn't mean that the you have that the numbers will get that to the space you thought you think it will but when you are trading whether it's intraday or swing trading or you know weekly trading you actually know what the number is so what you're looking right now if you're looking at my screen on the tiger tv what you're going to see is they have the nqs up well what the nqs did and check this out they did a 1 to 1.618 abc structure down from yesterday and this baby came on, man. I mean, you know, uh, the, the, the low of uh, 15,734, I believe the number was 15,724 or 719 or something. I mean, it just, it just about made it. And that's why you're seeing such a huge bounce. Now, if this had been a daily, okay, I, I don't on the, let me explain the dailies and the weeklies and the monthlies. If you get a 1 to 1 1.618, ABC structure on the way down or the way up. To me, it's an immediate change of trend. When you, you see how this works out, it's crazy. Um, on big downdrafts in the marketplace, like when we hit 666 in March of uh, 2002, I mean 2000, 2002, 2007, 2008, uh, bottom line is that that did a one to two ABC structure down, then it turned around and guess what? You've never come back. What, 12 years now? Um, my, my point in saying that is this I haven't done enough of these intraday with the 1 to 1 1.618, but what you want to be prepared for is that this market, particularly on a day to day basis, that this market still wants to go up tomorrow. Because I'm, I've seen the consistency enough that when you're on the daily, I, I love these things, actually, because you, you don't see them a lot, folks. That's the other side of it. Your probability goes very high when you get one, whether you're going up or down. Okay, of course, you know, when you get a market, markets are always easier to go up. And, you know, they go down faster, but in the longer range, they're going up on a continual basis. So we'll see where this baby shakes out, you know. But uh, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, this market here, if we hold anywhere near these prices, this is not going to be a bad setup. Here, watch this. This is, I mean, the NQs were getting killed, right? But look when you look at the setup now. What's also happened in this setup, and this is important. Well, let me make sure of this, but I believe it does. It did. When I started out, what you had here, you, know, you still got a doji, though. See, this, mid, this middle doji is telling me that we can actually get to the bottom of this. So this is just another little tool. You know, that middle doji right there is saying, you know what, we can go test this. And if we go test that, then you want to be basically doing those FIB numbers once again. You know, that, that's the bottom line.
because what you're going to see there, um, I suspect, is a rejection of lower price. In order to bust this lower swing inside the NQs, folks, you need 105 million shares. Uh, now, we will definitely get volume once the Fed speaks tomorrow. But when you think about the aspect of, well, what can they say? Well, they're certainly the transitory word is gone. The aspect of uh, they're not going up on rates. My take is they're not, not even, it's not even close, okay? They haven't basically brought the tapering down yet. I suspect they may, the, the, well, let's put it this way. The market thinks they're going to bring the tapering quicker. Right now, they're buying back $15 billion a year. The, there's enough stories out there, okay, they're going to stop buying back $30 billion a year. If they buy back $30 billion a year, I mean a month, what will end up happening is that the tape, they'll have bought back everything they plan on buying back by March versus June. That's how that thing shakes out, folks. My take, especially after Christine Lagarde came out today and turned around and... I gotta find this, man. Hold on. Let's do it this way. One second. I'm gonna find this for us because Bloomberg should have kept the story up here more. I wanna put an indice up and see if it will pop up. Let's see. Um, not that one. Try one more. Uh, because of the fact that when I don't believe, I believe it was another government organization that also come out and said, hey, listen, this inflation is going to go away and go away like next year. It's like, man, where are you coming from? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's, it just doesn't happen like that. Uh, you know, it, it, you know the, you, they can certainly get, they can stop the pricing up but the way that that gets stopped folks okay is about four to five rate hikes every three months boom 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 and and if that's what they're going to do then in inside of those hikes a couple of them would be a half a percent that's how you stop everything i mean you know that's when just everything stops dead in its tracks because people are so flipped out that it's going to be like, you know, are they going to go up for 10 times in a row? I think the most I've ever seen them go up is a year and a half straight. That was Greenspan. Um, and then he had to basically back down in a monster way. But he went up a year and a half straight, quarter percentage rate, uh, every, uh, every meeting for a year and a half. Um, and he, he put the kibosh on it. <laughs> There's no, we didn't have inflation, but he put the kibosh on it. This time inflation's there, man. I mean... You got to remember something. Inflation also, folks, is a perception of all of us. So just think about how you are thinking, okay, and go from there. Yeah, one of our tigers is saying that Tampa, uh, St. Pete, Clearwater is the highest in the whole country at 8%. It is, you know, because it's, listen, there's, there's an article out here today, and this is, a, this is a fact, folks. And this guy, man, I love how this guy builds. It blows my mind, actually. Um, it's the guy that owns Related. He, uh, and not the related, not the, it's the guy that owns the Miami Dolphins. He's an amazing builder. Bottom line is that he was saying that uh, this is like the gold rush, uh, meaning Florida. And specifically what it is, because of the amount of people that are coming here and the amount of jobs that are actually getting generated here, and we don't have any taxes, it's not stopping. And there's, there's, not, there's no doubt about that. And that's... He, he does, he does business in St. Pete. He has uh, one building he just sold. He's building another building here. Um, his bigger business, though, is in Miami and the other coast, for sure. Uh, but all of Florida, yeah, there, there's no doubt. Uh, Florida is not inexpensive anymore. That, that's, that's the bottom line. If you should be able to go to Florida, you know, get inexpensive places, get inexpensive drinks. I remember when I first got here, but, you know, guess what? This is 25 years ago now. I, like, you were in shock coming out of downtown Boston, coming into Florida with beautiful places. And like if a bear in Boston was like seven bucks at the time, this was like three bucks. It was like, oh, this is good. Oh, guess what? That's gone. Everything's St. Pete, seven bucks, 10 bucks, 12 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but guess what? The quality of life is phenomenal. There, there's no doubt about that. Blue skies, man, give me a break. It's, and it's never even, it's not just, it's, yeah, the blue skies. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 120.
12. You get the NASDAQ off 170. S&P's off 35. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 115. NASDAQ's off 176. S&Ps are off 35. And don't forget, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, we do this a couple times a year. We have a Tiger Dollar Sale. Uh, this is how you can have a huge savings and a huge value for any type of service that you get at TFNN right now or look to get in the future. So the way the Tiger Dollar Sale works, folks, you're going to see this says up to 40% Tiger Dollar Sale. It ends on the 23rd of this month, which is in 10 days. Uh, the way this works is that you can buy $500 in Tiger Dollars and you get $600. So that is a 20% bonus on your money. You can buy $1,000, you get $1,300. That's a 30% bonus on your money. Or the max is buy $15, you get $21. That's a 40% bonus on your money. As I said, they're good for all services at TFNN, totally transferable, no expiration date. Now let's go back to uh, the S&P and um, you'll see... Uh, when they did this uh, intraday ABC structure up, that was all she wrote, folks, okay? And that's the, the, the cool thing about this is that once you get used to these, you know, if you were trading futures for sure, the bottom line is that you, you get that number, the bottom line. So we went to, uh, look at this, we went to 46.38 and it was 46.46. I mean, 46.48. Now, 46. Is that 46.38? 
46.38. No, that's right. 46.38 and it was 46.36. That's what it was supposed to go to, okay? And it dropped off. Then if we go to the NQs, and what you do with this, if you're, if you're trading this, what you do, you don't necessarily have to, if you, especially if you're selling the futures, you don't have to have to get out right there. Then you just put, I put, what I do is I just put the stop right underneath it, just in case you're going to get an expansion of more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure in the way up. And the NQs, they went to uh, 966, and it was 957. So they went nine points over. But, you know, bottom line, they gave it up. And so... Um, Needless to say, that's it's intraday. It's really cool when you get these in real time. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. He kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. We get the Fed meeting tomorrow. He's got TD Ameritrade. We got some action, baby. Go get him, folks.